So, uh, kind of like I've got a really cool guitar. I've had it for a while. Uh, it's a silver tone, you know, going back quite a bit, solid body. It plays really nice. Uh, the problem I got, though, is that every winter, right, it cracks in the same place. I have glued it. I've, I took the back off it, uh, uh, changed the supports, uh, made some new ones, glued them in. And this has been going on for like about two or three years. You know, everything's fine during the summer. Winter comes dry. And the place I'm at, you know, it's um, more humid in the summer. And during the winter, it gets really dry, you know, from the heat. So uh, I came up. This is a different idea instead of just trying to glue it together. Uh, I also tried to put a piece of wood in it before, but it just didn't seem to work on it. And then uh, I came across this one thing. And it was online, and it, it, it uh, I'll tell you briefly, the, when they repair Asian pottery, they don't try to make it look the same, but they repair it with like, uh, with like gold and silver. And so you can see the cracks, but it's supposed to, you know, it helps it to maintain its value. Uh, and then, yeah, it's been broken, but it still looks beautiful. So what I thought of doing is I got some solder. And... I just taped it down here a little bit, as you can see. But I got some solder to fill up. Like I had like three strands of here, as you can see. Right? And I'm just putting it in there to fill the crack. See if I can give you a good look of it, right, coming in here. And right now, I've just got a little tape putting it in. Right? That's that solder. And let's give it back for you here a little bit farther. So that's my plan. My plan is I'm going to fill this crack up with a solder. It's going to, you're going to see it. It's going to be silver, you know. And my thought is, is when it expands, right, during the summer from the moisture, uh, this uh, solder is going to kind of cave in. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to pop out or anything like that. And hopefully during the winter when it, the back shrinks a little bit, that it will uh, it'll help to fill it. So uh, I haven't decided yet what type of what I'm going to put in here for glue in here. Uh, I think I'm just going to do the high hiding because I really do like that. Uh, so I'll let you know. I'm going to, I've got it, I've taped it in as you can see here. I taped it in, right? This is, and by the way, this is, this is solder that I'm using. They have different, you know, I just, you know, made a couple of little preamps or something and I had some, I just bought this and I thought, oh, you know, maybe this would do it. So we'll give it a try, you know. Uh, I think it's going to work long term. You know, maybe I'll do a follow up to see. Uh, would I do it on the front? I don't know. You know, I, I think I might. As of trying, to, as if I don't really have any cracks now, the front seems to be pretty good. But instead of trying to repair it, make it look like wood, or try to hide it, you know, why not just do what they do with fine china and just, you know, own it, right? Put it in there and own it, and hopefully that'll at least seal it up a little bit, you know. I don't know. We'll give it a try. I'll let you know how I would help come in after I get it glued up a little bit, and we'll take a look at it again. All right, so uh, I got this set up. Uh, I warmed up my glue, right, this hiding, and use this little, uh, you know, you heat the water up, put the cup in it, put it in the middle, and then I'm going to drizzle it just with this little, little thing here, right? I'm just going to drizzle it onto it. So we'll see how things work. We'll do this a little bit and then I'll continue to work on it as I'm going on it. All right, I just want a little bit in there. I'm not going to really go crazy on it, you know. A little bit of a crack there though. I definitely want to take care of that. Pushing it so it helps it suck into the crack a little bit. This is the part I'm going to seal up first. And then seal up this end. All right, I think that'll do it from this point. Get a little bit more in there. This step dries really clear, so it should be good. Now I think I'm going to put a little tape on that.
clamp it. Just this end. I'm like I said, I'm not going to worry about the the metal part right now. There we go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'll start to work a little bit here. I'll start to work a little bit. Drizzle it in a little bit. And I'm just filling it in here, just ever so slightly. I should have used a little more. That tape is gonna, it's taken off a little bit of the finish, I think, but should be okay. I think for right now, I'll just do the in between the tape, and hopefully that'll just draw it in. Yeah, I like the way that looks, though. I think that's going to be all right. Should work out pretty good, I think. Just drawing a little glue in, right? Not a big deal. Yeah. Yep, I think that'll do it. Well, I guess I'm going to have you watch me go all the way. I wasn't planning on it, but kind of like the way that it's working, so I don't really want to stop. Well, that's a bit too much there, but... I just want to put it in place, right? You just want to put it in place. Yeah. All right, well, look, you get the idea. This is what I'm going to do. I'll finish up, and we'll, uh, when it dries up, we'll take a look. So, uh, guys, I got it done. And uh, I like it. Strangely, I like it. I think it's a good idea, and somehow it fits. I don't know how, how it fits, but I can see that it... I mean, I would even do this on the front if I had a crack, which I don't right now. Right? I think it looks pretty nice. And look, this is the idea with the solder. It's not just about looks, too. It's that, remember, um, in the winter time, right, this top shrink, this back shrinks and it pulls apart. And hopefully with the solder, that solder is going to flex with it. It's going to stretch out a little bit. During the summer, right, when this top expands, it's going to push in. And this solder should probably pop out a little bit ever so much. And in the whole time keeping the back sealed up, it's really stabilized. It stabilized this back big time, you know. Uh, so I'm just really happy with it. I think it worked out really well. Uh, so I recommend it. You know, give it a try. I would give it a try. Uh, and would I do it on the front? Yeah. There's something strange about about that metal. I see how it kind of works with with. Uh, 
with China too, how it would work. Okay, uh, catch you on the next one.